Oh, my God! Norman, lad, we all set? Ah, well... Is that your speech? <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. I mean, most of us in the retail trade are too busy worrying about shifting the stock to keep abreast of all this environmental thingy jig. Well, actually, Eric, I don't feel too well. I think I ought to go home. Give over. It's nerves, that's all. Oh, he's our chairman. How are you, Fred? Now then, Eric, there he is. Our guest speaker. Come along, Mr. Watts, that all assembled and waiting for you. Don't worry, I'll introduce you. Don't build up their expectations too high. Well, most of them won't know who you are, and come to that, they won't care. Don't worry. You play your cards right, you can make some very useful contacts. You could make your name a byword in retail circles. That's what I'm worried about. Strictly speaking, Geoffrey, I don't think we're entitled to attend this conference. I've got to hear this speech, Auntie. But why? After all, you wrote it. You already know all about it. I've got to find out what this lot make of it. <laughs> It'll blow the complacent beggars out of water. Oh. Oh, dear. I, I hope you're not going to get Norman into trouble. Seven, I'll remind members that annual subscriptions are now well overdue, and if you want to remain in good standing with the Weatherfield Association of Retail Traders, get them in by the end of the month, so think on. Uh, any other business, Eric? I don't think so, Mr. Jim. Right, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, I will pass on to a cherry on the cake, so to speak. We are fortunate to have with us a rising young retailer, Mr. Norman Watts. Now, as you can see, Mr. Watts is not one of them people who puts all his wares in his shop window. But appearances can be deceptive. Take it from me, he's got a keen brain. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Norman Watts. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, we live on a small planet, and as the population multiplies, it's getting even smaller. Now, as shopkeepers and retailers, you might say, fine, more people, more trade, depending on what sort of trade you're in. More mouths to feed, more bodies for us to clothe. But he who cares about the environment cannot agree. And he must say to you, for each and every customer who walks into your shop, each year two trees are cut down to make paper packaging. A friend of the planet looks at shopkeepers like you and says, you are all guilty men and women. Yes, each and every one of you is engaged in a criminal conspiracy to pillage and despoil the planet Earth. And it has got to stop. A person who cares about the environment must say to you, the message is this. Small is beautiful. Shorter opening hours are beautiful. Less choice is beautiful. Less consumption and less spending is the most beautiful of all. Bless you, me! Ladies and gentlemen, we have to stop this frantic scramble of an even higher standard of living. This insane pursuit. Get off! Spend more, eat more, wear more from the world's limited resources. Now that's enough. I said that'll do. <laughs> At last. I wondered if someone had the nerve to protest, and I wasn't surprised when that person was Fred Elliott, because he's got the guts to do it. Eh? Hey? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just given you a glimpse of the outrageous and abusive propaganda we retailers, we happy few, we band of brothers are up against in the modern world. We are fighting a battle. A battle for the hearts and minds of our own customers. So we must know our enemy. The fanatic. The fanatic who closes us down. The fanatic who takes us back to a peasant economy where the people that used to be our customers will start growing their own food and weaving their own anoraks. Turncoat! Judas! You're a traitor to the green cause. Well, if it isn't Timsy Wimsy Spider, I didn't know you were a shopkeeper. A shopkeeper? Me? I'd rather put my sister on the streets. Well, who wouldn't? But them without sisters still have a living to earn. Now, I must ask you to leave. Oh, and whatever happened to free speech? You're in the wrong shop. See, do I have to call security? Uh, Come along, Geoffrey. You're all criminals! Ladies and gentlemen, that's the kind of fanaticism we're up against. But us shopkeepers, we're tough. Anyone with any sense will tell you that the great British shopkeeper is the salt of the earth. Here, here. 
the kind of bloke that'll say to you, salt is bad for you. And you know why? Cos we know better. I've already put you forward. Food Retailers Federation, Northwest Area Meeting. I've put you down to speak. Oh, no, Eric. You're doing it, and that's it. Listen, I'm doing myself no favours, lad. There'll be executives from the big chains present. If you make the impact like you did today, I risk you being poached. Head hunted. Onwards and upwards. There are some that are born great, and some of it thrust upon them. Consider yourself thrustworthy. Go on. Oh, I've heard it all before. Yeah, but Martin hasn't. Go on, Martin, ask How'd me. How speech go, Curly? Oh, it's brilliant, brilliant. I was sheer magic. Yeah, I'm very happy for you. So, Spider supplied you with some stuff, I take it. He tried to set me up, handed me a loaded pistol, expected me to shoot a load of shopkeepers. Well, I was too smart for him. Yes, I've heard it all before. I'm going to go and talk to Sam. Oh, I was brilliant, mate. Brilliant. The way I turned it all round, had those shopkeepers eating out me hand. I'll tell you something, Martin, mate. Sometimes I think I could conquer the world, given the help of ten good men with packed lunches and their own transport. Yeah. Way up. First battle, he just walks in. Spider, mate. What are you having? Nothing with you. I am finished with you. Do you know what this... this turncoat did? He spat on his principles. He betrayed the movement. He sold out to the consumerist oh, faction. Yeah, but that's what he does. He sells things for a living. That's right. It's my career, onwards and upwards. I gave you a brilliant indictment of consumerism and you twisted it to betray the cause. No, no. I just made them think. I did. Anyway, the point is, I've got to think about my job. You think you're a job's worth, a job's worth Judas. And I'm telling you this now. I'll get you for this. No, 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 come on. I mean, don't be like that. Spider. You want to watch him, Curly Top? Nah. I mean, what can he do, eh?